it finally came today. It's the sixth release in the Australian Lunar Series 2. It's the 2013 year of the snake coin. The verse of this coin is the same as every other coin in the series. It's Queen Elizabeth II. It's the she's on the averse of all the perf mint bullion coins. But the reverse this year it, it has the snake. And um I, I I would have to say that all of the series two designs so far have been better than the series one design. And I'm I think that's more because of I'm just more of a fan of the art style they're using in the second series. In the first series it was more of a like traditional like Asian art style but in the second series they're just I don't know they're, they're using a different art style and I, th I think it makes the coins better that being said I think this might be the weakest design of the second series so far I don't know it it's just the coin it doesn't seem as full as some of the other coins they're just there's just not a lot going on there's a snake and a branch and that's about it but it's still it's still a good design it has um you know the reverse proof so the snake is really shiny and i really like i don't know if you can see it but the snake's tongue is out and it's pointed right at the p mark the mint mark of the perth mint and i thought that was really cool i thought that was a good placement of the mint mark and everything and you know it, it's a good design though but I don't know I just wasn't I just wasn't that impressed with it but going by Perth Mint standards let me let me say that only by Perth Mint standards I mean if you put this coin up against almost any other bullion coin that comes out in 2013 I mean, it's going to be better. But Perth Mint, they, they do such a great job with their bullion coins that you have to rate them only against themselves, you know. So Perth Mint standards, it's maybe not quite up there. But, I mean, that's that's that just tells you how good their, their designs are. And it's a really good coin. It, these coins, uh, I think they, I think they stuck to the three hundred thousand mintage of them. This is a one ounce coin, and they they are already they have the kilo, the five ounce, ten ounce, and a ton of half ounce coins. Before, in past years, you know the half ounce coins were really valuable and rare. They didn't mint as many of them. But I know last year they minted a ton of half ounce coins, and I'm thinking they're gonna do it, do a lot this year and from now on. So getting these coins in the half ounce isn't, you know, it won't be seen as quite the investment that it has been in the past, or you won't see quite the return on it. That's why I just, you know, grabbed the one ounce and just stuck with that. And especially since, you know, silver took this big hike. Right before, you know, the 2013 coins rolled out, you know, maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not. But, you know, this this thing was about, it was over 40 bucks, you know, with the premiums that the Perth Mint coins demand. So, I don't know, that was another thing that kind of kept me from grabbing a half ounce coin also, because, uh, you know, money's a little tight, but, you know, I had to get one. Especially since they first came, you know, they just came out. So, you know, that makes them even more, you know, make you want to get them. Make you willing to pay a little more. But, there it is. This is a, I mean, it, it's a it's a really good coin. But, you know, when I, just, when I put it up against, you know, my Tiger, which I love. And last year's Dragon Coins. It just looks a little more... Plain. There's not as much going on in, in the coin, and I'm sure some people would like that more. And, you know, just, just looking at it, you know, it looks great. It's just when you put it up against some of the other coins in this Lunar Series, too, it's not quite as great. But, you know, that's, it, it, it's still a great coin. And as always, it's in the Perth Mid Capsule. 
You know, this coin's probably never been touched by human hands. Great condition, great shine and luster. I love the the like proof finish on the animal and then the flat finish in the or the matte finish in the background. It's really good, really cool. And not to be picky, but <laughs> there are a couple of things about the coin I kind of noticed, like some of the branches coming out at the bottom. If you look, it doesn't really even look like they're connected to the main branch that the snake on, the snake's on. I mean, that's just nitpicking, but that's just some of the things I look at because, you know, I look at these coins as, as art. I look at this as a $40 piece of art, as well as silver and investment in it and all those other things. So, you know, those are just little things that I notice and nitpick at, but it's still great. But, um, here's the coin. I recommend you pick one or two or a few up. Thanks for watching.